okay? So you can hear that I'm kind of pulling on the time. Writing that line between and doing the triplet shuffle, almost making it like a dotted eighth, sixteenth feel. This is a little bit like rhythmic bending, where you can pull, like a rubber band, the space in between the shuffled notes. Listen to the difference as I begin with the triplets, getting their full note value, and then I'll pull them a little close, closer together. Check it out. One, two, one, two, three. Difference in between those two. Holding it with your pads. Boom. In and out. That last note you could really snap in there. Look how open that hand is. So when you see a guy playing flat tap snap, flat tap snap, flat tap snap. That is the only way that you could physically do that. That's the only way that you could physically do that. I'm going to repeat that again. That's the only way that you could physically do that. You can't throw a 95 mile an hour fastball like this. It has to be like this. It's the only way to do it. Flag, tap, snap. Flag, tap, snap. And you open up that. For a miss and throw till we find someone to hate you. Hyatt Ostinato to a more challenging figure. A one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a. You have to pay attention to which notes are played together by the hands and where they play independently from each other. Let's break this down. I'll play this slowly and then I'll slow it down even more. This one sounds great at faster tempos, but we have to train our hands with the physical ability to play this in our ears with the ability to hear it. So let me play it quickly for a moment. Check it out. the hi-hats to create that pattern. Bass drum underneath the snare drum there for added beef. Two figures. Now we're in this Latin pattern on the bell and the toms. Bass drum's just playing quarter notes. Dun, 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 dun. Hand goes over, left hand for the hi-hat making this section add a little bit more than the, the previous one. Now we're going to fall into the triplets, the guitar line. Re-intro again, playing a Mozambique rhythm. Splashes. 
and we're going to do the, uh, the stabs, the stop time. Beginning with the left. Playing the double rights of the conjunctions with the bass drum. So. process you see I'm trying to train you to think in a certain way a way that sees more than meets the eye or the ear these are the hidden codes and gems beneath the surface of ordinary mundane looking stickings and this is when ideas come alive and take shape and they go from being a boring printed page into the magical realm of music notice that if you want your resolution to be on beat one if you were to play this in a time feel you would come out with a crash on your left Right foot, right, left, left foot. Right foot, right, left, left foot. rock time, I'm thinking from the bottom up. What does this mean? It means I'm focusing on the bass drum pattern and playing it strongly. Normally, I want the same density from the bass drum as I do the snare drum. Do, ga, do, do, ga, do, ga, do, do, ga. And I think a lot of young drummers or those with less experience on the instrument tend to play top heavy and light on the bass drum. I can detect an amateurish feel sometimes, and look, that's okay. We all have to begin somewhere. I'm just trying to provide a head start for the younger players by mentioning this. When you play, you have to mix yourself right here from the drums, which is ground zero. Get your balance together and play with confidence. A band wants a confident drummer, not someone who plays things like, like this, like this, is this, is this okay? Is this, is this right, is this right? You want to throw it down. I utilized these in the middle of the drum solo that I performed the last time I was here at Drumeo. I actually played an eight note cluster and then answered back with a four note cluster. This is basically what I played in that part of the solo. And the tricky thing is to play these with a one and a two and a three and a four high at ostinato. So there was something like. this way. The floor time hits, it's going to be a left flam. This way doesn't sound good to me. I want it blah, blah. And the toms over here, the higher toms, will always be a right flam. Yeah, you could do this. nicely in the four over three polyrhythm rate. We went over this. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 